you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 5th friday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 6 verses 14 to 29 king herod heard of it for jesus name had become known some were saying john the baptizer has been raised from the dead and for this reason these powers are at work in him but others said it is elijah and others said it is a prophet like one of the prophets of old but when herod heard of it he said john whom i beheaded has been raised for herod himself had sent men who arrested john bound him and put him in prison on account of herodias his brother philip's wife because herod had married her for john had been telling her it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife and herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him but she could not for herod feared john knowing that he was a righteous and a holy man and he protected him when he heard him he was greatly perplexed and yet he liked to listen to him but an opportunity came when herod on his birthday gave a banquet for his coaches and officers and for the leaders of galilee then his daughter herodias came in and danced she pleased herod and his guests and the king said to the girl ask me for whatever you wish and i will give it and he solemnly swore to her whatever you ask me i will give you even half of my kingdom she went out and said to her mother what should i ask for she replied the head of john the baptizer immediately she rushed back to the king and requested i want you to give me at once the head of john the baptist on a platter the king was deeply grieved yet out of rigor for his oaths and for the guests he did not want to refuse her immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring john's head he went and beheaded him in the prison brought his head on a platter and gave it to the girl then the girl gave it to her mother when his disciples heard about it they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends jesus was now becoming well known over a wide area there was much speculation as to who he was some were suggesting that he was john the baptizer come to life again or that he was a prophet elijah who was expected to return just before the coming of Messiah. Like the prophets we used to have, we know, of course, that all those speculations were wrong. The true answer will emerge very soon. King Herod, steeped in superstition and full of fear, and guilt was convinced that Jesus was a reincarnation of the John the Baptist, whom he beheaded. We then get the story as to how how he, this happened it is clear that herod had great respect up for john as he would also have for jesus later the problem arose because john had denounced herod's taking the wife of his brother herod potius as his wife this was in clear violation of jewish law the historian joseph who say always says that herod feared that john so popular with the people might instigate a right against him it was this woman herodias who now wanted to to be rid of john but could not do so because of herod's respect for him herodias saw her opportunity when herod threw a party for his court to celebrate his birthday she knew her husband's weakness herodias daughter was brought in to dance and utterly captive herod John was a gahas but because of his oath 
and the presence of his guests. It had not reneged on his promise. John was beheaded and the head given to the mother. John's disciples then took the body and gave it a decent burial. Dear friends, John is a precursor of Jesus, not only in announcing the coming of Jesus, but also in giving his life for the integrity of his beliefs and in bringing God's message to the people. We are called to do the same, to prepare the way for Jesus and his message must become an integral part of every Christian's life. Without our cooperation, without our going ahead of Jesus, his message will not be heard. Amen. May God bless us.